New at 10, scientists are battling to save underwater kelp forests that have been disappearing along much of the California coastline. The kelp is essential to the survival of many fish and other underwater wildlife, but to save the kelp, researchers are going after an unusually prickly species of ocean life that is killing it off. KTV's Zach Sauce joins us now live along the Oakland estuary to explain. Zach? Yeah, that's right. That prickly villain known as the purple sea urchin. Its population has just absolutely exploded over the last few years up and down the California coastline, eating away at those endangered kelp forests. To stop them, scientists with a novel idea, they have called in the urchin hunters. Just off the Mendocino County coastline, around seven miles south of Fort Bragg, Joy Hollenbach of Berkeley engaged in... It's like the easiest game of whack-a-mole you've ever seen. The target of this Bay Area veterinarian, purple sea urchins. My friends were shocked when they found out that I was going out to kill animals on purpose. But quick to explain... Taking the urchin means the other animals get to thrive. Hollenbach among a small group of volunteers taking part in a pilot project led by the Nature Conservancy and several other groups off Casper Beach. The mission to try to restore bull kelp forests quickly vanishing all along the California coastline. The purple urchins are eating the kelp and there are so many of them. A population Morgan Murphy Canella of the Reef Check Foundation says has exploded over the last few years, warming ocean waters in 2013, making their main predator, the sunflower starfish, susceptible to a deadly disease. The starfish, and I mean all of the starfish, got a wasting disease and it just caused them to dissolve. With 90 percent of the population dead, the underwater ecosystem thrown into a state of turmoil. What you used to look out on this coast and see was just this incredibly dense, beautiful kelp that hosted, you know, up to a thousand different species. It's a nursery. It's a nursery for a lot of other species. Since the project began in 2019, we've reduced the urchin population by over 80%. This is bull kelp. Jared Russo of the Watermen's Alliance showing off the kelp now slowly returning along with the starfish. When we started, there was nothing but rocks and urchin. It was barren. It was nothing but rocks and urchin. And now it's beautiful. It's, it's almost like it used to be. And that research still underway right now, but scientists say the hope is eventually they'll be able to apply the lessons that they've learned at Casper Beach to other areas along the coastline where those kelp forests are now under threat. Jana? And Zach, before you go, real quickly, sea urchin is usually one of the most expensive things on a sushi restaurant menu. Um, did they say, is there any way for those purple urchins to be used for food instead of being killed off? You know, I, I was wondering the same thing, and so I posed that question. So it turns out the generally the more popular urchins that you'll find on the menu are the red urchins. Purple urchins are edible, but the real issue here seems to be that all of those purple urchins, they are so close to each other. There are so many of them in these areas that they are literally just starving each other out. So when you crack them open, there's really just no meat inside. Okay, so not worth it. Good to know.